I can buy none of these. But I can buy an ancient blade saw, which sounds beautiful. I will do that. No room in inventory. Duh, duh. Uh, what do I have that's junk? This is junk. You know what? Actually, you know what? There. <laughs> I will take an ancient blade saw, please. Exchanging. Bleep, bleep. Exchanging. Beep, beep. Results available. Bleep. Insert materials and rubies. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. Cool. Did I get it? Did I do it? Did I get it? Yeah! Oh! Look at this thing! It's a two-handed weapon, which is a downside, but... Uh, that was... I shouldn't have done that. That's so cool! This thing is so cool! It's... Man, this thing's gonna tear up guardians. Okay, can I buy any- No, not you. I don't want to talk to you. I threw a sword at you for a reason. Okay. Uh, let's buy- I can't afford- Or I don't have arrows for this. Uh, ancient cores I don't have. Ancient bow. Let's get an ancient bow. No, no one else on the block has one of these. Yeah, okay. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. Oh man, this thing is so sweet in my inventory. Or when it's not being used. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, I killed a guardian. And then I killed another one. And I was very angry while doing so. We also got the cherry up and running. So now things are positively cherry. And I also... Got this, although that was this episode. This time, I have slept at the Goron City, and I am ready to fly. In fact, you can see I I probably need to change my clothes here. And so now, I am ready to head towards the cube. Let's fly. If I can land on top of it, because it looks like it's a maze, that would be really nice. If not, actually, this thing's really far. It's deceptively far away. Will I even make it there? Yeah, okay, okay, I think I will. If I can make it on top, that would be great, because I can kill the guardians and- or just avoid them. This thing's so far away. I, I can see the shrine, which is the reward for this cube. I'm also detecting it. Okay, let's go ahead and switch clothes. I may have to restore some sta- oh wait, no, never mind, I have additional max stamina. This is great. It works out. Lamine, Lame Labyrinth Island. Actually, considering how low I'm, I'm landing here, it's going to be conducive just to let go. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. So now that my stamina's full, I can climb this, maybe? Are you kidding me? There's a... There's a guardian right in the middle of this? Oh boy, oh boy, no! Really? This is shallow? Of course it is. Do I have to climb up? Oh wait, wait, no. There's an updraft. Well, that's useful. You know what, I'm gonna kill this guardian, but not before I deal. Oh, come on, get me up. But I'm gonna try climbing first. Yeah, you didn't kill me. You stupid robot. Okay, let's fly up here, or let's climb up here. And see if maybe we can get to the top of this thing and cheat a little bit. Because if there's one guardian in here, that means there are more. And I'd rather not play... I'd rather not play Maze Runner. I mean, that was a really weird movie, and it had, you know, scorpions in it, which, for some reason, I... I am both an Egypt... I've become an Egyptian weeb of sorts, and I've also play scorpions or use them in every game that they have them. I mean, in League of Legends, I play Skarner. I play a lot of Skarner. I'm, I'm not a one-trick Skarner, but I, I do play a lot of Skarner. And in Magic now, I'm building a commander deck which is using the Scorpion God. That's literally what it, his name is. Okay, I'm to the top. What does this give me besides an easy view of being killed by these guardians. Oh, come on. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. 
I wonder if sta if my stamina gear would help me at all. I kind of doubt it, considering these things find you by seeing you, but you never know. Maybe the black paint job will be useful. You never know. And actually... Don't look at me. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure that I'm looking down here, because there could be some cool rewards. I'll just pay attention for the music that says you're about to die. There's a glowing thing down there. That enough. That alone is not enough to knock me from my roost. Okay, that music is. Oh, but it's you. It's you. I don't care about you. Okay, so... I assume they they definitely would have... Th these are the developers of, of Xenoblade we're talking about. They definitely th thought about... Oh, I... I would I assumed you'd see me. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna miss. I would think that they would think of this. That people would climb up here and be here. So let's just keep this in mind. It almost looks like there's something down there. Maybe. So I'm guessing the entrance to this thing is hidden? Possibly? Hmm. This is... Also, you can look- you can see the solution on the map, so... It makes me wonder. We can't get in through there, that's obvious. But... If we can look through here... It looks like there are... Can't see through it. It looks like there's stairs going to the left. And are there stairs going to the to the right here? Or they're going to the left. Yeah, so this can be solved from either direction. That's important to know. So now, now that I know that, I'm going to actually solve this. Which it looks like I just did. But we'll find out. Did I do it? Hmm. There's this metal block, which I should probably investigate. Multiple metal, metal blocks. Or is this just the same one different size? That's possible. Let's throw that aside. We might actually need these for some reason. To set on something. To stack up for something. Where am I on, on the map here? Okay, here's here's my thought. I'm curious. To go as close as I can to the the shrine. Wait, does this lead to dead ends? It does. This entire thing right here is a dead end. You see that? That's an entirely dead end, but that is not. You see that? If we manage to circle around here going... No, that's a dead end too. Oh. Oh, that's smart. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where, where I just went through with the block. Where... Where was it? It was a hole. Yeah, here. Oh, that's clever. You can't just solve this from looking at the map. That's insanely clever. Okay, so... This is a dead end. So this is a true maze. Also, you can't see all that from above. So that's how they get around it. Hello. It's a ladder. Did I do it? No way. No way. That's too easy. Bunch of things there. Can you get rid of that with fire arrows or something? Fire or bomb? You guys told me I could. Can you do it? Yeah. There we go. Let's burn that. No way. I didn't... I Surely, hopefully, right up those stairs is not the solution. I would be kind of upset if that was. That's way too easy. 
This is Maze Runner, right? Nothing's supposed to be simple. But yet, there's an alternate path here. Which leads us... Oh. Hello. Uh... I said... Hello. So that's it. I may have po well, possibly solved this, but that doesn't mean that there I are isn't more booty to be collected here. The maze has secrets within the secret. And so even after I get this shrine, which is probably right up here, I still need to do some looking around. Also defeating that... that, uh... Guardian. Not the ones up above, but definitely the Guardian. Where is this leading? Is it going to lead to the- it is? Well, here's the shrine. That was easy enough, but let's go down the other way. This shouldn't be as cut and dry as this. Oh boy. Okay, so I need to remember to climb up there. That's clever! You just walk up here and you wouldn't think anything of it? There's so many hidden things here. What does this one hold? An ice blade? Nothing yet. Wait, oh wait, what? 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 I was just here! Oh man! Do you mean to tell me that right above me was that the entire time? That's so cool! Oh man. Okay, so let's climb back up. Actually, we don't need to. I can just walk around. That's so cool! So is there any... Wait, take. Oh, torch. Why would I need a torch? It's weird. Also, what is down there? That's also weird. But what, what, what did this way offer? Was it any? It wasn't anything. It was just an alternate way. Okay, well, let's tackle the shrine and then unravel some of the secrets of this... Sh of this maze. Two Kalos, blessing. And the Two Kalos shrine. What is this going to give us? Ooh! Helmet once worn by the warriors of an ancient warlike tribe from the Faeron region. Wearing it draws out your inner animal, increasing your strength and battle prowess. That's such a good reward here. Equip. And then this too. Oh, That's so cool! Well, we're, we're starting on, our, on a new armor set, which is neat. It's a better reward than I can think of. Oh, boy. Okay, so we get an easy shortcut back. <gasps> Whoa! What is this? What is this? The rabbit hole go the rabbit hole goes so deep. Underneath the maze is a graveyard of guardians that do have stuff to grab, which, you know, I should grab. None of them seem to be alive, which is nice. It's kind of odd that dead guardians would be down here. Are these just ones that have had never... There's a chest over there, too. That had never yet to... Were not excavated before the Great Calamity? Because if you recall... These things were excavated and then activated by the Hylians. So... It would stand to reason that there would still be some that were never touched by Ganon's influence because they were never reactivated. These things are, are left over from... They're actually left over from Skyward Sword, if you'll believe it or not, because the ancient civilization that made them... Also, this guy, there's... There's nothing wrong with this guy! Hey, Lou. Funny meeting you here. I thought there was something wrong with this picture. Here, let's take out... Flame Blade won't affect him, but this will. Let's c 
cut off all of his limbs. Yeah. And this too. Yeah, you're you're dead, son. Tried to pull a fast one on me. So that that kind of puts a hole in that theory. These things don't need to be excavated to be activated, or this thing was just deactivated by the ancient civilization, and Ganon's influence activated any that were were in enough completion that they could work. Man, I, I really didn't expect one to come alive and try to kill me. Gives it a lot of reward, though, which kind of gets rid of the downside of me using this weapon. Because if it breaks while fighting a guardian and kills the guardian, then I can just get one back for a thousand rupees because they give us so much good stuff. There's another chest. Why are there so many chests? What does this one have in it? An ancient core, I assume? A travel medallion. This forgotten tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. <gasps> that's so cool! And that's a reward for the DLC. Oh. Well, that's, that's cool. Also, there's another intact one, which we're going to have to kill. You know what? Future pal! voice crack much. Future pal, keep a counter of how many guardians I kill. Uh, ones that are partially in the ground do count, so keep track of that as well. But this guy, he's definitely alive, so let's just get the drop in on him and just start, just start whacking away at him. Yeah, you, uh, I, I happen to notice that Someone's cutting off your legs with a chainsaw. That's not good. What you got? Huh? What do you got? What What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Someone's on top of your head, son. Because they, you, you have no legs. I can't actually hit him. But you know what? Let's Let's make this even better. He doesn't know I'm here. He actually does not know. Ba -da -ba -ba -doo -boo -ba. What are you gonna do? Oh, that, that doesn't work. Here, we can hit him in the eye, though. Oh, oh, this is too good. Hit me! Hit me, son! <laughs> That's so good. Oh, man, I only wish I could have just shield bashed it. Oh, that's satisfying. For all of the garbage that they dealt with that they gave me in the beginning of the game I mean like the second episode beginning of the game that's satisfying also I think I've looted most of these things let's just get our reward and leave that's so satisfying well let's get our actual reward one that doesn't have anything to do with the DLC what is this a diamond circlet a luxurious headpiece sold at Gerudo jewelry shops. It's decorated with a diamond which harnesses the power of light to reduce all damage received from ancient enemies. Wow. We are a king. We are... We are a king. Look at us. Whoa! 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 That's not good. That's not good. All these things want to kill me. All these things want to kill me. Oh, boy. Uh, damage received from ancient enemies. I'm glad. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope. It, it does it regardless. Okay. I did not expect that. Let's leave. Uh, there's nothing that's going to help me. I should probably just heal up. I did not expect that. Mm, sure. Running. Ow. Thank you, fairy. This is us running. I did not expect that! Wow. That happened. Where's our my, my updraft? Where is my updraft? Where's my, my ticket out? I. Where is this thing? Wait, did I run the wrong way? Oh, I ran the wrong way. I ran the wrong way! <laughs> okay. Well, that's a thing. 
Oh, wait, no, I didn't run the wrong way. It's right here. I just ran past it. Okay, well, my plan... Oh. Get me up. Get me up. Get me out of here. Get me out of this graveyard. You know what? Oh, that was stupid. Sup, guys? Later. Oh, man. That was... That was death. Goodness. Okay, so what else do I need to do here? I don't have Darus protection, but that doesn't mean I can't kill the guardian that's here. But also, I should probably look to see if there's any... If there are any secrets. There's nothing there. So I guess I'll just spend a, a brief... A brief moment, just checking around, seeing what, what's around. And you, sir, have been delimbed. Now face me one last time. Actually, you know what? No. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't have Druk's protection this time. Are you gonna, you know, like, try to kill me? I don't have a guardian shield, do I? No? Oh, that's too bad. Here, let me show you, let me show you one of my new toys. Uh, let's not use that. That's, that's too far. Let me show you one of my new toys. It's called an ancient arrow, which I haven't used up till now. So, uh, let's, let's kill you. Can you feel that, buddy? Ready, set. Goodbye. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I am so powerful now. Goodness. Okay, I didn't even I don't even need Daruk's protection to kill these things. I can just walk up and hit them in the legs and beat them that way. And if all else fails, I have one of these to just insta-kill them. I am so powerful. In fact. This may be the episode that I just go and kill everything. <laughs> I go and kill that one Lionel. I could probably one-hit it. But first, before I go, the next thing I would like to do is is deal with the dra- Or not the dragon. The, uh, the shrine or the, the fountain that I found, which you guys told me where the dragon is. And that, although I do need to go to this region, but I would like to deal with that dragon. It would be nice. So I'm going to be dealing with that dragon next. But I would like to check out just a, one little bit more. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. And if I did, if I have missed something that was really cool, go ahead and tell me in the comments as you always do. Oh, hey. What's this? A knight's halberd? This thing is better than my spear. Really. Is it better than... Oh, what do I want to drop here? You know what? I have I have two flame blades. I can get rid of this one. Wait, is this step down from this? What? Step up from this. Step down from the other thing. Okay, well... I guess I'll take this, then. Neat. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is new. Okay, so right now, I am underneath the the shrine. Directly underneath it. And there's a chest, which has silver rupee in it. Not bad. It's pretty good, as far as rewards go. Also has this avenue over here, which I should probably at least check out. And it looks to be completely empty. However, there's still that dead end, which I would... Which I was aiming for. Straight ahead. To the left, over here, and I should be able to head, hello. I should. Whoa. Oh, ow. I should be able to just head to the end of this, but just judging by 
how many unique enemies are here. I mean, unique in the, the grand scheme of these being the only chews in the entire complex. I would assume there's something special here. Little turn, and a little turn. Okay, this is empty, but there's... There's this. A knight's bow. Which I have... So many of. Uh, soldier's bow. It has quick draw, but it's almost dead. So I could throw this away. So let's take the knight's bow. What do you know? Okay, well... Now, the next thing I would like to do this episode, I would like to head over here, because I'm pretty sure I know what's there. There's uh, the Korok Forest, I think, but you guys told me, because, well, you guys told me where I could find the dragon, and I need to head over to Central Tower in order to find that dragon. Haha, ha, you found me. You guys told me that when I was last at this giant log thing, or stump, I guess it would be, I, I missed the Korok. So there you go. There. And there's one here, too. Oh, hello. We've done one of these before. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Koroks, Koroks everywhere. So, I'm at beautiful What's-It's-Place, and one of you told me that, let's see, it was, there's this really big gorge. Oh, hello, Stormcloud. That looks incredibly story-driven. There's this giant chasm... Somewhere, what's it? Over this way? Daruk That's really... Ready to roll. Ah, Jeruk. You scare me every time with that. Not only is that very Xenoblade over there, but that looks very story-driven with that, with that rain. So I'm going to avoid that like the plague. And I think next episode, we're going to be looking for the dragon. While this is technically... Did not mean to do that. While that this is technically expl exploration of a new area... It also falls within, in my opinion, exploration of Akala, because there is the Spring of Power, which, in, as far as I know, is the last thing I need to do to complete Ter or to complete Akala, other than Terrytown, which will be done later, I'm not sure when. So, that's the last thing that needs done. So next episode, we're going to be looking for the dragon, which is somewhere around here near a great chasm, you guys told me, and in the morning. So I need to find a campfire, come here in the morning after finding the chasm. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. I'm also let's playing... Pikmin 2 right now, and new episodes of the Mission Mode, which I'm wrapping the game up with, are released every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays, in fact, I think I found the chasm, Pal Plays Breath of the Wild. And while I'm in the end slate, I'm going to look for this dragon. They're all, you have all of them. There we go, hey, whatever. I'll just get the remainder that, that show up. Okay, so we have Bullman. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion? Ooh, have to ooh, try ooh! Here? Try it. Touched him there. Thanks, man. He was really nice about it. Dinral scale. This precious scale fell from a from the red spirit Dinral. It emanates a great heat. You can use it in cooking, but just eating it seems like a waste.